Да выйдите вы из клада! What are you doing in someone else's cart for? Get out of the stockroom. Why are you taking from her? Where to go? They take everything from me. There are hundreds of such videos in the internet over the past month. Since the beginning of Russia's invasion of Ukraine, store shelves in the aggressor country have emptied, and a long-forgotten term from the 90s is coming back into use – shortage. <laughs> Russian citizens are fighting not only for food, but also for kitchen utensils. In general, the list of scarce commodities in Russia is lasting, from personal hygiene items to various spare parts. After all, almost 4,400 restrictions were imposed against the Russian Federation in course of the past month of war in Ukraine. Almost half of the aggressor's total foreign exchange reserves amounting to about $300 billion have also been frozen. Moreover, the Central Bank of Russia has imposed restrictions on the exchange and circulation of foreign currency. Banks are banned to sell foreign currency in cash until September 9. While it may be sold in exchange for rubles, also Russian citizens will be able to withdraw only dollars from deposit accounts and only up to 10,000. The rest of the money will be available in rubles at the rate on the day of withdrawal. As a result, the haste at the ATMs is not less intensive than the customer queues for sugar in the stores. At the same time, Russian experts do not yet note mass unemployment. It amounts to 5%, which is not critical. However, the situation may turn not in favor of the aggressor's economy. After all, it is not easy to predict how many facilities will be shut down without foreign equipment subject to sanctions. Not only the current activities of companies are subject to sanctions, but also their investment equipment. The current environment, for example, an unfortunate breakdown of some machine tool can stop the whole assembly line, moreover, for an indefinite time, if the spare part has not already been imported. Because it is possible that the spare part for this machine is under sanctions and cannot be imported according to official channels. Due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, more than 450 foreign companies have left or partially reduced their presence in the Russian market. Annual inflation has accelerated to 14.5%, and this is not the limit for the economic decline. Inflation in the country will be high and it could easily reach 50%, so we will understand this at the end of the year. Sanctions on high technology, export technology, this is something we don't know clearly how it works until we will see it ourselves, because the Russian economy does not have systems that are completely based on Russian cogs. There will always be one foreign cog somewhere and now, when the foreign technology is prohibited and we cannot predict what falls first. This will be more clear following the results of the second quarter, which will be entirely characterized by a recession in the economy, and it will be quite deep, somewhere on the level of the spring of 2020. However, it is not worth expecting social activity from Russians. Angered by the shortage of food, Russian opposition journalists state, because active citizens who do not support Putin's regime have left the country. As of March 20, 14,000 Russian citizens arrived in Turkey, more than 30,000 in Georgia, and more than 6,000 in Armenia. Those who stayed are agreed to abide. The Russian will always have just enough for a pack of buckwheat. Does he need more? As practice shows, there is, I don't know if it is a majority or not, but indeed a large group of people in Russia who would rather say, we endure 2014 sanctions when the dollar doubled, so we will be with these sanctions too. So it is always the same, when people have nothing to eat, a vegetable garden appears, and when people have nothing to drink, a moonshine machine appears. Meanwhile, the US is preparing new sanctions to limit the aggressor's capabilities in the military sphere. The supply of technology to the Russian army will be cut off. Military manufacturers in Russia will be denied access to computer chips made in the West. Reported by Nick Starkov, Larissa Zubenko, Roman Smoller for UATV News.